I fear no man. But that thing... It scares me. Hello guys, this is Let's Do It, coming with another video. After one long week of being absent because of life, I'm back with this uh, little uh, review of the new archetype uh, Zhang Zhang, which has been revealed is going to come in the uh, Burst of Destiny uh, booster box thing that it's coming up in like two months, I think. I don't know exactly the date. Um, I've been testing this for a couple days now, and I must say that this uh, archetype, it's very, very good. It's consistent, it's toolkitty, it's not straightforward for your opponent to answer to it, and in general it's just very good, uh, very good, I, I have no complaints. It has one of the best normal summons I've seen since Alistair, I must say. And I will go by the, in the card by card explaining what they do and, and how I use them in general. So, we're gonna start with Moye. Uh, she's a level 4 water worm. All of them are worms except for Xiang Zhang Swordmaster of the Illusionary Iris, which is actually a spellcaster. Uh, Moye's effect is that you special summon her and then you show either a worm monster or a Zhang Zhang card in your hand and you summon a token. Okay? That's all. This guy, I play him at 1 because I think it's a good form of spot removal when you need it. For example, if you get imperned in one of your cards, you can chain him and, you know, avoid the negation of your card. It's a toolkit deck, as I said, and I think playing one of these guys is not bad. It's, it's a decent card. Uh, the other monster that you want you're going to end up summoning a lot is uh, Long Yuan the Xiangjiang Tactician. It's a level 6 uh, Wyrm Fire monster and his, his effect is that you discard a either a, a Wyrm monster or a Xiangjiang card and you special summon him and then you summon a token. The second part is not as relevant. Uh, oh wait, I didn't talk about the second part of Moye. If you use her is a synchro material you are you're able to draw a card and the synergy it has with uh chi Zhao, the zhang zhang grand master it's amazing because you get your token you get mo ye on the field and then you synchro into this level eight and this guy searches you a card and then this card this card adds you a card so you have you're gonna end up having a plus two practically a pro plus two with just mo ye so yeah, it's a pretty broken card in my opinion. So yeah, with Long Yon you go into your Synchro 10 plays, which can be either uh, Cheng Ying or, I'm sorry, the Baroness of Fleur, which still hasn't been announced. I think she's coming on on a uh, January, I think? I, I don't really remember. But this, either of them, depending on what you're facing, you are pretty good with either. like. Yeah, they have broken effects, I'll talk about them uh, later. We have the other starter of the deck, which is a little bit slower, but equally as good. It's Taiya, the Zhang Zhang Swordmaster. So it's basically a similar effect to, to Mo Ye, but her, his effect is you need to banish a card from the graveyard, and then you summon a token. Um, it's tr still pretty good. His second, uh, second part of the effect is that if it's uses Synchro Material, you can send a, 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 a Zhang Zhang card or one wear monster from your deck to the graveyard. So you have access either to your to send your trap, which you can banish and get pluses in the form of a, another token, or you can send either of the tennies to the grave. Um, we played two of the uh, Zhang Zhang Sword Master of the Illusionary Eiders, and I think this is a good card, but it's searchable and it's a brick in your hand. So I think two is more than enough. I'm playing three uh, drag, uh, Zhang Zhang Dragon Sword appears. It's a searcher for any of your Zhang Zhang monsters. Uh, and if you control a Synchro monster, you can search for any worm on your deck. Uh, we have a Monster Reborn, the Grand Spiritual Peak, but I think playing just one, it's, it's good enough. It doesn't uh, give you pluses. It's, it's just clunky, it's a clunky card. Because once you do the effect of your monsters, you don't really want to revive them. 
unless it's this guy, uh, because his effect is before damage calculation, if you're wearing monster battles, an opponent's monster, special summon from the extra deck, you can destroy both monsters, both that opponent's monster and this card. So it's a, it gives your your monsters a construct desk, like shadow construct kind of interaction with in the battle phase with your worm monsters, which is pretty neat in my opinion. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I play a bunch of hand traps, uh, pot of desires, and then the tangy little little uh, engine there, which allows you to go into your synchro eight plays as well. And it generally serves as a going second bait kind of interaction with your opponent so you don't have to immediately burn your Shanjiang monsters you can go into this and then try to force you know your opponent's negations and and so on and so forth all right just uh ten yashuna special summon itself when you control no effect monsters and then you can banish it from the grave if you if you control a no no effect monster and summon another ten yi from your deck uh, Vishuda, same thing, special summon when you control no effect monster, and you can banish it and bounce a card your opponent controls, which is pretty amazing. And then you have Adara, which I played just one. Uh, it can special summon itself, same effects on all of them, but this one allows you to banish it from the graveyard and recycle one of your worm uh, monsters in the banished zone to your hand. So it's a great extender, it's a, it's a great engine in general. Uh, to bite ba bait, sorry, your opponents, and then vessel for the dragon circle. It's a, it's a uh, foolish burial plus a search for the tangy uh, engine. So it's pretty pretty good card in my opinion to play here because you can send any of your worms, any of these guys, and then just recite uh, get a, a tangy to your hand and pop off from there. All right, so for the extra deck. Um, it's, as I said, there's a whole pool of level 10s and level 8s that you can play in this deck. I'm currently playing this lineup, it can change its new deck, I'm just trying out. So, uh, for the level 10s, I have two, uh, Chen Yi and the Shangyang Grand Duke. It has a couple of effects we need to discuss. It gains 100 attack and defense for each banished card, so either your opponent's or yours, doesn't matter. Most of your opponent controls also lose 100 attack for each banished card. If this card would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish one card from your graveyard instead. Any card. Um, also, if a card is banished, that's why I play Diddy Crow, by the way. If a card is banished, you can banish one card each from your opponent's field and graveyard. So imagine playing against a Drytron deck. They start doing their stuff and they start pumping the grave, right? And you DD Crow them with this guy on the field. You're going to end up banishing three of their resources. And not just and not just like uh, not just Drytron, any deck in general. Banishing three resources at the right time, it's a, a turn ending thing, right? And I think it's just it's just amazing. Anyways. Uh, Baroness of Flora still not, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's just an Omni Negation, a very good Omni Negation at that. Uh, once per turn you can target one card in the field, destroy it, so spot removal. And then you have uh, once while a face-up card on the field, when a card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So it's a spot removal, once per turn, and then you have a quick effect, which is an Omni Negation. What's not to love? Uh, then you have the level 8, Xing Qi Jiao, the Xiangjiang Grandmaster. Uh, it's an instant plus when you synchro summon into him. Uh, you can add one Xiangjiang card from your deck when it's synchro summon. And then, quick effect, it's a uh, negation. You can banish one Xiangjiang card or one worm monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one other effect monster on the field, negate its effects until the end of this turn. This card is important because it makes uh, Zhang Zhang Swordmaster of the Illusionary Iris live at any time you want. So let's say, imagine Alistair is summon, summoned, you activate this guy to negate, and then you can summon this, this guy to basically blow up anything that comes off the extra deck at any time, or draw cards, or you know, 
the world is your oyster with this deck. It's very toolkitty, as I said. Also, when you activate uh, Qi Zhao's effect, you're going to trigger Chen Ying's effect, which is going to banish two resources of your opponent, which is pretty amazing. I play one Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. This card wins you games. It destroys a card and then it can attack again and it, and it increases it, its attack equal to the destroyed monster original attack, so it's pretty good. Uh, Baxia Brightness of the Yangxing, a great card. Pick your rare versions that came up in a King's Court now uh, before they disappear because it's a very good card. With the Tenji engine, you can go into this and then bounce two cards from your opponent. Three if you account for Vishu as effect. So in the meantime, without activating any of your uh, Zhang Zhang effects, you can have three bounces in before you even go into your main engine. You know, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, White Aura Whale, it's a blow up for <laughs> your opponent going second. You can make it by synchro summoning from Moyes, so you blow up every attack position monster and any defense position monster, you can inflict piercing battle damage. And it also makes double attack on on the battle on each battle phase, so yeah. Another Synchro 8 that I think it's worth playing, it's Adamancipator Risen Drag type. Uh, Dragite, sorry, and it's just a spell or trap. Is it spell or trap? Yeah, it's a spell or trap negation. Um, Rudy Rose, it's arguably meh. It's a level 10. I think you can go into it and, you know, banish cards from the grave and then just plus if it gets destroyed for, with Black Rose Dragon. I play one Boral Savage because it can come up, because you actually play Link Monsters here with the uh, with the Tangi uh, engine. So yeah, you can actually go into a Boral Savage if you desire to do so in some lines of play. And then BLZ of the Diabolic Dragons, it's a uh, level 8 Synchro that cannot be destroyed by Battle of Card Effects. And if you take Battle Damage from an attack involved in this card, or from an opponent's card effect, you're going to gain attack equal to the damage you took. So yeah, think about that for a second, uh, and tell me what you think. So yeah, that's basically the build. I'm going to be showing you some lines of play that I've uh, come to get used to throughout this week, that I've been testing this deck, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, tell me what you think about the deck, do you think it's going to be any meta meta relevant or or what do you think? I, I think uh, Burst of Dex Destiny is going to shift the meta a little bit away from all the decks that have been played because Flandries is coming in that in that set. Also, uh, the Zhang Zhang is going to come in that uh, set. Also, a lot of other strategies get support from Burst of Destiny. So, what do you think? Uh, leave a comment telling me if you what your opinion is about the new. Burst of Destiny set. So without uh, extending too much, let's go into the combo slash replay thing. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, this is going to be the first replay that I'm going to be showing you. It's just a one card combo, 1.5, let's say, because you need either a worm or another Zhang Zhang card in your hand in order to perform. Uh, the combo. Okay, so what you need in your hand is Mo Ye, the Zhang Zhang Swordmaster, and you're going to normal summoner, show, activate her effect, and show either a worm or a Zhang Zhang card on your hand, and she's going to special summon token. So now you're going to go into Qi Jiao, the Zhang Zhang Grandmaster, and what's going to happen now is you're going to plus. So you're going to activate the Grand Sword Master as Chain Link 1 and Moya as Chain Link 2. And that's going to draw you a card, and then you're going to be able to add another Zhang Zhang card. In this case, we're going to go with Lung Yang, the Zhang Zhang Tactician. So from here, you're going to activate Lu Yang and you're going to send either a Zhang Zhang card or a Wing Worm Monster. You're going to special summon him and you're going to get another token. Alright, um, now we're going to go into your uh, 
uh, changing the Xiangjiang Grand Duke. And Longyang is going to trigger its effect in Graveyard, and it's going to burn for 1200. So with just one card, you're able to get um, a negation, a double banish, which protects itself from destruction, and also uh, when it banishes a monster, when any card gets banished, he triggers and he's able to banish two monster, a monster on the field and on your opponent's graveyard. So with just one card being able to do all of this, I think this is a very good start for the Zhang Zhang archetype. Let's go to the other combo. Okay, so guys, for combo number two, we will I will be showing the other starter of uh, the deck, which is Tea. Tea has the, def the the condition that you need to banish either a worm monster or a Shanjun card in order to summon the token. That's why I think that the synergy with uh, with the Tenji engine is so good. I will show you why in the in this combo. So we're gonna start off by activating uh, Tenji Spirit Ashina and special summoning it. You're going to link for your Monk of the Tenji. Then you're going to banish Ashuna in order to get a special summon from the deck. Um, you're going to link these two off for uh, Shaman of the Tenyu. So, you're going to normal summon your Te'a and you're going to activate its effect, banishing a Worm monster in order to summon the token. Now, here is why I think the synergy between these two works so well. Um, Tenny Speed at Vishuda effect states that you can banish this card from your hand or graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. So, guess what? You, with the token on field, control a non effect monster. So, you can disrupt your opponent if you're going second or you know you're going to bait a negation if you can activate uh, Vishuda's effect on the graveyard. So, after that, the combo is going to be basically the same. You're going to Synchro for your Grand Sword Master, and you're going to trigger uh, Teya. So you're going to dump the trap because you can plus from it if you get to banish it, and then you're just going to add your um, your Long Yuan. So now we're going to you know the same thing: discard a card, special summon, get your token, and link for, uh, Synchro. Sorry for your level ten. And that's combo line number two. Burn for 1200, and that's it. So, now I'm going to show you why I think the Tenji uh, engine is a very good, consistent thing in this deck. Uh, it allows you to bait your opponent and just do so much off of a thing that doesn't require to burn your, your normal summon, which this deck needs very much. So, uh, let's have a look at it. So, you're going to, I'm going to be using two of the Tangy monsters here and I'll show you the step by step. So we activate Ashina's effect. As long as you don't have a, a effect monster on the field, you can just special summon these monsters off the hand, right? So you're going to link into Monk of the Tangy and you're going to activate Vishuda's effect in hand to special summon itself. Now you're going to activate Ashina's effect in Grave to banish itself, itself and special summon uh, Adara from your deck. So now you, you can go into a Synchro 8 play in the form of uh, Baxia, Brightness of the Yangtze. So, up to this point, you're able with Baxia to bounce two cards your opponent controls. And with Vishuda and Grave, and since you have a non-effect monster on the field, you can bounce a third one. So it's three bounces without committing your normal summon. And you're saying, thinking, oh yeah, but like, yeah, Moye is in your hand, you don't have any Worm or any Zhangjun cards. Yes, that's right. But the second effect of Adara is going to allow me to banish it and recycle, guess what? My Ashuna to the hand. So now I can go into my uh, Zhangjun engine with like, yeah, all of this done without normal summoning. It's pretty insane. So you go into your normal plays, you get your Synchro 8, you draw, and you add, and then you just activate your Tactician effect, discarding your Tenyi monster that you recycled, and you're going to Special Summon it, and get a token, and get your Synchro 10. 
and then burn your opponent for 1200. Yep, and that's why I think this engine is very good. You end up with so much out of just uh, a little two part engine that you can run without any hefty price in this archetype. Alright guys, thank you very much for sticking with me for this video. Um, uh, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed uh, the video, and yeah, I mean, this archetype is pretty good. Uh, I hope it gets support soon so we can see a couple new interactions we can do with it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a very consistent uh, strategy which can end up with a pretty decent, decent board. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video again and thank you for sticking around. I try to make videos as, as every week but you know sometimes it gets hard sometimes I, get, I just don't find the time but yeah I enjoy making these videos and reading your guys' comments and yeah like uh, I hope I can keep up making a lot more videos and having fun. Alright guys so I'll be logging out and I hope you guys enjoyed. See you around on the next one. Let's do it logging out.